Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Jeff from WickedOil.com, your local Amsoil dealer in Madison, Tennessee. And today we have my 97 Harley Fatboy FLSTF. Uh, I would have wanted to bring to your attention to do a review on these stem. Those are torque cones. Hope you can see them well. It's kind of dark in there. Anyway, bought these from uh, DK Custom Performance products. Um, now I have Vance and, Hine pi Vance and Hines pipes on this thing. Uh, as you can see, I have extended them to the back of the bike, which I, uh, I like them at the back of the bike. I'm just not sure that I like going from chrome to black, but whatever. I do like what's up. I took the baffles out and ended up buying these torque cones which are uh, basically lollipops just a different brand the difference between these and lollipops are the lollipops are flat they have a bolt and then they just have a flat round plate whereas these are cupped so um i can't tell you if one's better than the other i, I doubt there's any difference between the two theories, uh, in fact, this company used to sell the flat ones and they started making these dished shaped ones apparently. And I purchased these because they were cheap. Uh, I bought gaskets for the head pipes and clips that hold the flanges, uh, the flanges when you tighten them up to the pipes up to the engine. The, they got clips in there that hold the flanges from going over the end of the pipe. Um, and uh, the torque cones, I think it was like, I don't know, 56 bucks delivered. It wasn't a lot of money. Uh, I think it was like 30 bucks for the two cones. I think if you just need one, like if you had a two into one exhaust or something like that, then I think it's like 19 bucks or something like that plus shipping. So anyway, now when you if you go on their website and look at these things they are and i'll leave a link for them um, they say that for now these are two and a quarter inch id pipes uh, at the uh, back end there and one and three quarter head pipes and dump into two and a quarter tail pipes and they say for that size uh, you need the inch and five eighths or what they call the W150 or 158W inserts. This is what I got right here. Anyway, um, I'm going to have to call bullshit on that one because I put them in. Uh, they're supposed to be within uh, an inch of the end of the pipe, which they are. dark in there oh there you go there you go now as you notice i've got these things turned sideways i put them in like they show them sorry about all that i'm using the iphone here i put them in where they're sticking out facing you know the cup is facing out so that the exhaust isn't fighting i mean it's fighting anyway but anyway and it was great at an idle, good peppy, just like they say. But as soon as I get up about 1500 RPMs, this thing just couldn't exhaust itself. I mean, it just, you just floor it, it just fall on its face because it's too big of an obstruction, which is why I'm calling it bullshit. Um, I tried, you know, they said, they say in their, uh, their ad copy that you're, you know, you just have to adjust them and find your happy medium. Um, I turned them at a, basically a 45 degree angle and they didn't, it was, it was good. It's got the pep, you know, the extra pep they say. Uh, but again, it just, I'd get on the highway or, you know, get the engine wound up and, you know, try to accelerate and it just couldn't exhaust itself. I took them out. I tried it. Now I love the sound of the open pipes, especially the longer ones, because it's got a nice, you know, when you let off the gas, it's got that nice, you know, brrr, you know, if, if you like that kind of thing, it's just nice throaty sound, but it does, 
it does have a little bit of a bog to it. Now I can probably uh, correct that with some jetting, which this does have a uh, CV performance kit and a carburetor and all that good stuff. Um, but, you know, you really do need at least some kind of an orifice at the end of the pipe because you want to keep the velocity up through the pipes. If, you know, you'd think you'd just put a big fat pipe on there and, oh, yeah, it's just, you know, instant performance because there's no restriction to the uh, exhaust. And while, yeah, you do, you, do, you do need plenty of room for the exhaust to expand, uh, you also need to keep the exhaust at a high velocity, which means you can't make, you know, if you put four inch pipes on this thing, just straight out pipes, this thing would just have no, no power. It'd be because it doesn't have the velocity. The exhaust would hit the exhaust pipes and it would just slow down to nothing, you know. Anyway, so here's the deal. I finally put them back in and I came to the conclusion that turning them sideways, I don't know if that's optimum for my combination, but it works pretty damn good. It, it's very peppy. Um, I kind of think the 118s would be a much better choice. I could probably turn them, you know, so they're supposed to go in like this. This is the back. You know, if you were looking up the back of the pipe, you should see the cup looking at you. And it should, in theory, be square, squared to the pipe. But, like I said, I've got mine turned sideways like this. Um, could it be better if I had the 118s? I think so. I could probably turn them more back to what they're supposed to be. Because the idea is that the exhaust is coming flying out that pipe there, probably when you're cruising down the fucking highway probably around 1700 feet a second and it comes out and it's it's pulsing back and forth which hinders the other pulses coming out of the exhaust system so the idea is that you've got this we'll call it an obstruction or a velocity creator and it forces the exhaust around and when it turns around and tries to head back in it hits that cup that's the theory behind it and I believe in the theory I just those inserts are too big. But that said, do I think it's worth, um, we'll call it 30 bucks, because if you get the second one, then they give you a discount on the second one. So it's like 30 bucks plus shipping and probably tax. I, I don't remember what it was. Uh, anyway, do I think it's worth it? Um, yeah, sure, maybe. Um, I mean, I didn't dislike the Vance and Hines uh, pipes. Uh, these aren't long long shots because the long shots, uh, Vance and Hines long shots go all the way to the back. And these aren't the short shots, so I don't know what they call these. Uh, the medium shots, maybe? <laughs> anyway, um, but uh, there's a lot of variables involved here. I mean, the, it doesn't, to my knowledge, this bike doesn't have a aftermarket cam in it but it does have a canine filter it's got the Vance and Heinz pipes um, it's got Amsoil in everything um, what else um, oh it's got an aftermarket ignition uh, I can't remember the name of the ignition I put in here uh, Ultima Ultima programmable ignition system so this thing runs pretty good it's not a I mean it's got plenty of power to buzz down the interstate I, I can go 70 miles an hour on this thing and give it the throttle and it and it accelerates just fine so which kind of blows the theory that you need a 107 or 125 or 130 cubic inches on one of these things to get out and have a good time it's you know i'm sure it's great to have all that extra cubic inches but eh. this 80 cubic inch works just fine believe me and i like good comfy and reliable over you know high performance and having to work on it all the time so anyway that's it for today uh, in case i didn't mention it it is the 27th of september 2020 so visit us at wickedoil.com um, we have uh oil for your for your hog well for any of your motorcycles and i can personally attest that putting AMS oil just in the engine 
dropped the temperature of that engine 25 degrees. So uh, in the dead of summer, uh, pushing 100 degrees in the humidity around here, uh, around Nashville area, uh, I can get buzzed down the interstate and pull off and this thing's only running like 210 degrees. And that's pretty damn good for an air-cooled engine. So, uh, and riding around town, uh, it runs about 175, 180 degrees in the summer. Um, winter time, it's hard to get it up to 175 or 80. So, anyway, uh, that's my spiel for today. Uh, check it out, man. You want your stuff to last? Go to Amsoil. Thanks.